We are on the trail of death. It's not a pretty picture. But the reality hidden from our eyes. The truth of voiceless people in far-flung villages and towns of India. A trail of broken homes, broken families. Of grief, loss, suffering, anger. More than 50,000 Indians die of snake bite each year. These are lives that could have been saved. Lives that should have been saved. We raise our collective voices because the dead don't talk. A family slept huddled on the floor of their thatched house. A snake found its way in. In the dead of the night, the venomous crate crept closer, seeking the warmth of the human body. A little girl was bitten. The snake slunk away. She woke her mother, who comforted her, soothed her, not suspecting snake bite. When the girl lost her speech and could not hold her neck straight, her parents rushed her to the nearest health center. But it was too late. It's a very pathetic incident in our life. <clears throat> we lost Sraboni. Shrabani's body came home the same morning. This is the only picture of Shrabani ever taken. Dead and cold. One year later, we reach Lohar Para. This is the house where Shrabani was bitten by a venomous crate. Not much has changed. The saline dilo, oxygen dilo, saline dilo, the ulana chulte chulte, malagala. আরো আগে হলে নমাদের উঠি মনে হচ্ছিল যে আরো আগে যদি নিয়ে চলে আসতাম তাহলে ভালো হয় রিগ্রেট লস সাফারিং রিমেইন হু কিলড শাবনি হোয়াই ডিড বাচু বেন হ্যাভ টু ডাই হোয়াট ওয়াজ দোলাংস ফল্ট অর মুবারকস were the snakes to be blamed or was it the collective failure of a system not equipped to handle snake bite there's no reason why anyone should die of snake bites in today's day and time after all snake bite is a treatable disease more than 50000 deaths each year year after year That's 137 Indians each day. Ordinary men, women, children. A life one day, dead the next. This because we live in the death by snake bite capital of the world. Snake bite is the most neglected tropical disease the who has now acknowledged that so uh, yeah it's india is no different from sub saharan africa in that sense what do we do snake bite preventable and treatable 
but grossly neglected. A multi-layered complexity. People are not numbers. People cannot be numbers. Who are the people dying of snake bite? What is the face of the burden of snake bite? We are on our way to Dharampur in Gujarat. Sainath Hospital is known to specialize in snake bite treatment. Before we can even unpack our cameras, we see Komu Bhai. His body convulsing. Pain and fear etched on his face. He was bitten by a crate in the dead of the night. He's minutes from death. His wife is due to deliver a baby any day now. As Gomu Bhai joins the others in a ward where anti-venom is being administered to other snake bite victims, we hear the siren. Another case has been referred here. Jinal is a little girl brought in by her father and mother. The 10 year old is in distress. Each breath labored. She's unable to talk and her vision is blurred. Immediate intubation and anti venom alone can save. Jinal's life. Snake bite is a very good thing. It is a minute or a second important thing. So, if we miss this time, if we miss this minute, then we miss this patient. Miss kar lein, to hum ko bhi miss kar the hospital is full of patients. Darshana, bitten by a cobra. Badri Alam Sheikh, by a Russell's viper. He lost one finger to snake bite some years back. This time, he is losing another. Another woman, envenomated by the saw-scaled viper, brings the snake in. We respect her wish not to be shot. Now, if we don't have any money, what will they do? They have been here for two days, so we take a little bit of food. Now, they have taken 300 rupees from there. In a span of a few hours, in the ward of just one hospital, we have seen victims of bites from the big four, venomous snakes of India. Snake bite is a purely rural problem, and their voice is not reaching to the policy makers. And dozens of deaths per day due to snake bite, they are, they are not at all bothered. Snakes are worshipped in India, held in awe and mystery, but feared and misunderstood, cloaked in myths and misconceptions. With nearly 300 species of snakes, it is the big four that are considered responsible for most deaths. Spectacled cobra, the hooded nag, found in almost all parts of the country. Grasslands and paddy fields, dense forests, open plains, rocky terrain, even wetlands. Russell's viper, a hide and weight predator. With a hiss like a pressure cooker and a powerful venom, it is responsible for a large number of deaths. Common crate, its venom, a powerful neurotoxin, a painless deadly bite with hardly any local symptom. The saw-scaled viper, just a few inches long, smallest of the big four, but its venom, a powerful concoction of proteins 
that cause extensive muscle and tissue damage. With a wet bite from any of these, the one and only remedy is the anti-venom, made from the concoction of the venom of the big four. It is a medical emergency and that person has to get treatment immediately with the only treatment which is effective and that's anti-venom. Snake bite is a medical emergency. It kills, it maims, leaving a trail of misery and loss. कई परिवार ऐसे हैं कि घर में कुछ खाना नहीं मिलता है तो वो ट्रीटमेंट के लिए कहाँ पैसा लाएंगे? किसी के पास बोरो करते हैं, कुछ भी करके मैनेज करते हैं, वो देना पड़ता है, तो ये यर्स तक चलता है कि भाई नहीं दे पाते हैं तो। We travel to a village in the Dang district of Gujarat. Pretty enough to be on a postcard, distant and disconnected for those who live there. Snake bite is a medical emergency and needs immediate treatment. And yet, when the victim actually approaches a community health center, they are referred to a higher hospital, which is at a district level. Many snake bite victims die on the road while being transported to a higher hospital. And if you're lucky to survive, chances are that you may not find a bed. These district level hospitals, they are completely packed beyond capacity due to all the referrals that they receive from all the block level hospitals. There are people lying everywhere, on the floor, below the bed, under the table, in the corridors. The sheer helplessness and lack of human dignity that a snake bite victim has to undergo, it is quite heartbreaking. While the government infrastructure appears inadequate and incapacitated to handle snake bite, a handful of committed doctors struggle day and night to save the victims. For most of them, it's a personal drive to save people because in our country, doctors are not formally trained to handle snake bite. In our country, snake bite has remained an invisible issue, neglected and forgotten. Within 100 minutes of bite in, uh, to an hospital and 100 milliliter of antivenom is given to the patient, the patient is 100% safe. The rule of 100, simple and straight. But nothing is simple or straight when it comes to snake bite. Black magic and faith healing continue to kill. Devendri was collecting firewood when a cobra bit her. Her husband chose a faith healer over a doctor. She was buried in dung for 75 long minutes. With venom in her system, she suffocated to death. For another, it was not dung, but a burial in salt. Stones and leaves, twigs and roots. Some call upon the spirits, some tie amulets. 
The practices are varied but ineffective. If there is venom in the system, the detour to the faith healer ends in death, always. Exactly what happened in the case of Payal? धरमपुर में उधर बोला लेकिन नहीं With this delay, Payal died on the way. People treating snake bite uh, like this in, in a village remedy sort of situation should be penalized, uh, maybe even for attempted murder. Are things any different in the south of India? Rich in paddy fields, rich in snakes. On the outskirts of Chennai is a small village. We head to the village healer's home. The healer's wife leads us to a plant she claims can help snake bite victims. But we are here to share her grief. The family has recently lost their son, Palani, to a cobra bite. <laughs> Palani's father, the village healer, knew that no herb or traditional remedy would work because his son had venom in his system. But there was delay. Ambulance phone banana. Ambulance varla. Nara avunna. Odane car vechanga. Odane car vechi. Athirathu vechi. Yedin putanga. Another life that could have been saved lost. Kaapathiliye enta. Police illa. Unless there is a fully functional hospital within the 5 km radius of a snake bite victim, death by snake bite incidences may not go down. Gohani and his daughter Munmi slept on the floor of their hut when a crate bit Gohani. The crate bit Munmi too. Gohani was declared dead on arrival at the hospital. Munmi died 15 minutes after admission. Overnight, Rakhi had lost her husband and daughter. Yashodhara died of a cobra bite in Mumbai. Seven-month-old Avane lost her mother. Chhotu Karu, his partner. Sheetu Bain was in her ninth month when a cobra bit her. She delivered safely even while the anti-venom was being given. Nine years later, she carries. a raw wound Kirti Sahu a snake bite widow she was the one bitten her treatment burdened the family with such a heavy loan that her husband chose suicide she struggles to survive how many faces how many stories Mohit lies brain dead since the last 4 years AIDS is considered as a big issue but number of people dying because of AIDS is just double of what is dying with the snake bite now if i put time perspective that means every 10 and 1/2 minute one person in this country is dying because of the snake bite so this niche issue needs to be addressed critically i think our journey would be incomplete without manan vora a perfect example of how ill equipped we are for the medical emergency of snake bite Manan was on a holiday with his parents in Dew a luxury resort a cobra in his pillow case bit him Manan was rushed to the local hospital within 10 minutes but there was no anti venom there he was given an antibiotic and saline and advised transfer to Una a distance of 17 kilometers do ambulance nahi khadi thi ek driver phone nahi utha raha tha dusra driver hai 
उसके पास बोल रहा है कि मेरे पास चाबी नहीं है मैं आके क्या करूँगा प्राइवेट एम्बुलेंस बुलवाई वो करीब दस मिनट के बाद आई वो कि मनन की आंखें तब तक झुकने लगी थी तो एम्बुलेंस में ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर था लेकिन ऑक्सीजन मास्क नहीं था तो एम्बुलेंस वाले ने मुझे बोला आप ये ऑक्सीजन की जो नली है ना वो मनन की नाक पे रख के मेरी वाइफ को बोला कि आप उनको पकड़ के बैठो और मुझे बोला कि आप उनको पाँव को रब करो इन द एम्बुलेंस मनन सफर्ड अ हार्ट अटैक इन ऊना ही वॉज रिवाइव but soon slipped into a coma his parents transferred him to bhavnagar where he was declared brain dead the parents finally decided to donate his organs hospital but no anti venom ambulance but no driver oxygen but no mask doctors but no knowledge treatment that exists but is not available What is the way out? The answer lies in awareness. The message has to be loud and clear across the length and breadth of the country. We need to learn to live with snakes, prevent bites and seek medical attention immediately in case of a bite. Ta oi sira uposira dhomonir moddhe dhukte hobe tobe tar bhitore bishta jabe. समय नष्ट जाकम भूल कि पदक्षेप ना जाए ना काटाकुटी चूसे बार कर रक्त यह सब करा जाए ना सरकारी हासपत् समय थकते पहुँचते हैं द बेस्ट थिंग उल बी टू टीच पीपल हाउ टू लिव उथ स्नेक्स हाउ नट टू क्रिएट माइक्रो हैबिटैट्स इन सैड द हाउस सो इट्स मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ गेटिंग पीपल टू वॉच वे देर पुरिंग देर फीट Certainly using a light at night is something very easy and everyone can understand doing that. Using mosquito net at night that would solve the problem for the crate bites for example. Having seen the burden of snake bite and witnessed the issue up close here are our recommendations. The magnitude of the situation can be assessed only if snake bite is made a notifiable disease. Snake bite is considered as mainstream treatment and snake bite management is taught extensively in medical college curriculum the right to life the right to medical treatment these are rights given to each of us by our constitution but when it comes to snake bite there appear to be no rights we have raised our collective voices because the dead don't talk